Let's talk about the English alphabetic code. What do we know about the English alphabetic code? Well, it is a bit of a mystery for most of us. We usually use it, but we tend not to be consciously aware of how we do it. It only becomes important when we wish to teach children to read and write. We speak in words and words are made up of sounds. Then letters are written to represent the sounds going from left to right. But let's talk about the historical influences on this English alphabetic code. Over the years, there have been many influences, mainly from other countries, from European countries in England, and their languages influence a lot, especially those that invaded England and stayed there, such as the Anglo-Saxons, the Romans, the Vikings, and the Normans. Many of the words were incorporated into English. This led to a huge increase of vocabulary and a greater variety of unusual spellings for the sounds. Now, let's compare the English alphabetic code with the Spanish alphabetic code. Spanish, Italian, German, Finnish have an easy alphabetic code. These languages, on the whole, use one letter to represent one sound. That is to say, one grapheme or letter to represent one phoneme or sound. And they are very reliable in their sound symbol relationship. They are known as transparent alphabetic codes. They are really simple to deduce as well as being easy to teach. Spanish has 25 sounds phonemes and 18 alternative spellings. So as you see, this first column, the yellow column, from top to right, only the first column, this one represents the phonemes, the sounds, the pronunciation. And the first letter that goes would be the grapheme that represents that sound. Across, you have the other colors, the other letters or group of letters that also represent that sound. Those are called the alternative spelling for that sound. And the same happens in English, but we're gonna see that later. Now, in those two alphabetic codes, you can see the same letters. These are the letters of the alphabet. Here we have the alphabet. And the alphabet has 26 letters. Uppercase and lowercase. Depending on the language, the, the language that you use, the pronunciation of those letters will change. English is an opaque uh, alphabetic code, has a complex alphabetic code, and in fact, it is the most complicated code of all languages that use the Roman alphabet. And the re main reason why it is complicated is linked to the British history that we already talked about. So written English is more complex than any other language in the world, making it difficult to work out the relationship between letters and sounds without good instruction. Some children learn the English alphabetic code relatively quickly, but research shows that the best way to ensure that all children learn to decode words is to teach the letter sound correspondences, that is to say relationship, in an explicit and systematic way. But now, 
Let's get to the English alphabetic code. As I said, the first column here will show all these, the sounds, the pronunciations, the phonemes of the English alphabetic code. And English has 44 plus sounds and phonemes written in more than 150 ways. You see the across, rainbow, would be the alternative way of spelling, alternative spelling to write this phoneme. So you see that, for example, the sound A can be written in all these ways. Or the sound O can be written in all these ways. So that makes the English alphabetic code a really complex code. It has to be taught in a very defined and clear way and very systematic. Now, it has a simple code that would be this 44 plus sounds. And it has the complex code that is the more than 150 ways of writing it. And here you can see the influence, the historical influence of all this that we talked about. Now, do you know how many vowel sounds are in English? Well, we do know that we have these five. A, E, I, O, A. We also know that we have these other five. A, E, I, O, and U. There are 10. But we also have these two more, the short O and the long U, as in book or moon. But we do have all these more, like ah, o, a, e, i, oi, ow, o. And we even have another one that is a combined sounds, y and o, yo. So how many do we have? 21 vowel sounds in English, which makes really difficult to learn. Now let's take this one, for example, the sound O. The sound O can be written in these 12 ways. O as in fork, O as in don, O as in sauce, O as in chalk, O as in oars, O as in cot, O as in thought, O as in door, O as in snow, O as in four, O as in wardrobe, O, o as in quarter. And why is this? Well, this happens because the English alphabetic code consists of four main concepts. Concept number one, one sound or phoneme is represented by one grapheme or grapheme. So sounds are represented by letters. Concept number two, a phoneme or a sound can be represented by one or more letters. For example, t or n as in knock or i. Concept number three, the same phoneme or sound can be represented or spelled more than one way as in k of cat, k of kennel or k of choir. And concept number four, the same graphing or spelling may represent more than one phoneme or sound, such the case of mean or deaf. 
They have the same spelling, E-A. In mean, it sounds E, and in deaf, it sounds E. Crown or flown. Field or tried. So as you see, the English alphabetic code is a real complex code and it all comes with the alphabet. Those 26 letters that in English make more than 44 sounds or phonemes and it has more than 150 ways of writing them.